The Australian Tertiary Admissions Rank, or ATAR, is a number between 0 and 99.95 that tells you where you rank in your year group. It's based on overall academic performance and is designed to be a predictor of your first year performance at uni. Your ATAR is your percentile position out of all students who started Year 7 with you. So an ATAR of 70 doesn't mean you got 70%. It means that you're in the top 30% of your year group. How is your ATAR calculated? The New South Wales Standards Authority gives the University's Admission Centre, or UAC, all the raw, unbanded HSC marks. But comparing across courses is like comparing apples and oranges. We want to compare apples with apples. To help work out how one student compares to another, UAC starts by giving all courses the same average mark and the same spread of marks, which shows us how far marks are scattered on either side of the average. Let's call this the green apple for each course. Then the serious scaling begins. Suppose we want to scale physics. We ignore the marks in physics, and we look at how the physics students scored on all their other courses, using each course's individual green apple. The average of these scores is the new average for physics, and the spread of these scores is the new spread for physics. We've created a red apple for physics. The new marks reflect the mark the physics students would have got if all students in the state had taken physics with them. If the majority of students in two-unit physics perform strongly in all their other courses, the average for physics will be high and the spread will be small. So the marks will be tightly clumped at the top of the scale. On the other hand, if all students perform weakly in their other courses, the new average will be low and the marks will be bunched at the bottom. After scaling, we take your two best units of English and eight best other units to give you a mark out of 500. Then we rank the whole year according to their mark out of 500. Your ATAR is your rank as a percentage of your cohort. How does scaling affect your mark? UAC scales according to the performance of all the students that year, not whether we think courses are hard or easy. No subject will guarantee you a high ATAR and no subject will condemn you to a low ATAR. The poorer the overall performance of the cohort taking a course, the closer to the top of the state you need to be in order to benefit from scaling. There's no way to gain the ATAR system. Your time is much better spent studying for your exams. How is the ATAR used? Each university sets a minimum ATAR for each course, and the cutoff is the score of the person with the lowest ATAR admitted to the course that year. The system automatically works down your list of preferences and makes you an offer for the highest preference that you qualify for. You will get an offer ahead of someone with a lower ATAR who put the same choice higher on their UAC form. So make sure you put what you really want to do as your first preference. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain.